Hi, I'm Peyton, and welcome or welcome back to Peyton Through the Pages. I forgot to film an intro, so I'm filming it now. This week I am reading the crossover series by Kwame Alexander. The Disney Plus show comes out on Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday. But I'm rereading the whole series to get back acquainted with the characters. I don't think Booked is being covered by the show in any regard, but I still wanted to read it. It is Monday. I started the crossover yesterday afternoon. I'm about 25% done with it and I'm going to try to read until, keep reading tonight, until, um, until second quarter. Um, the book is set up in quarters of a basketball game. So I'm aiming to get to second quarter tonight. I'm going to keep reading and then stop there for tonight and then pick up tomorrow. I did find out today that all of the episodes are dropping at once. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like one episode and then all the rest, but it is all of them at once. So I am aiming to have this done by Wednesday night. I don't think I'm going to watch the show Wednesday night, but I definitely want to try and like get this done by Wednesday. So reading tomorrow night and then reading Wednesday. Um, I think I can do it. I don't look like I'm very far right now, but it goes quick. So uh, yeah, that is my update. Um, it's been a busy, it's going to be a busy week. So we'll see how vlogging goes. Um, but yeah, that is my first update for the crossover. I forgot how much I enjoy sports fiction. Like I love sports fiction. Can I play sports? Not really. Can I read about sports? Yes. Yes, I can. Um, but yeah, I just, I really forgot how much I love sports fiction and also books in verse. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I love Kwame Alexander's writing. I forgot how much I love how this book is formatted. Um, like, look at this. That's so cool. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, that is my update, and I am going to get back to reading. This is going to be the shortest vlog in the history of series reading vlogs, I swear. Um, it is Thursday night. I haven't filmed an update since Monday night. Um, I finished the crossover on Tuesday. Um, I gave it five stars. I honestly forgot how much this book focuses on family and the sibling dynamic and how much I love that. Um, I also forgot how emotional it is. It's, it's an emotional one. Um, but yeah, I just, I really love 
this series and Kwame Alexander's writing. I've read a lot of Kwame Alexander's books. I'm not sure how many of them I've read, but I've read a few. Um, and I love his writing style. Um, and I love this book. This book was always going to hold a special place in my heart, I think, because I read it in middle school. So I read it at like a really formative time in my reading life. And it's one of the reasons that I think I really got into um, novels in verse. And so, yeah. And then last night I started Rebound, which is the prequel to the crossover. It's about their dad. Um, and it's technically a prequel, but like it starts and ends, if I remember correctly, in like the same timeline as the crossover or after the crossover. I'm not really sure. I have to get further in. Um, I'm on page like 55 right now, I think. Um, but yes, so my plan is to finish reading this tonight or tomorrow this is it is quite a lot to read tonight so probably tomorrow and then i'm going to hopefully start the show tomorrow i don't know how long episodes are so depending on whether they're like an hour to 30 minutes i'll hopefully finish those finish the series tomorrow or saturday and then hopefully tomorrow night or saturday i will start booked um and the last time i read this i read it in like a day so i feel like if i start it saturday i can get it done on Saturday, so that is my goal. That is the timeline of things going forward if I don't update again until much later. Um, yeah, so that is the plan. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. Sorry for it being very short and not updating it a lot. It's been a crazy week. Um, so apologies for that, but I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. And yeah, I will see you in the next clip, I guess. <laughs> You know when I said I might not update for a while? Yeah, well, it's Sunday. <laughs> and I haven't updated since Thursday night. I finished Rebound on Friday night. I gave it five stars. Um, I really love this one. I think I, I don't remember much of this from when I read it, but I do really enjoy it. It is historical fiction because it's a prequel. Um, and so, yeah, not only does it have the um, like formatting of the crossover, it also has these like comic elements, which I absolutely adore. And I do want to say that this book deals grief in such a beautiful way, especially grief through the eyes of like a 12 to 13 year old. Um, yeah, I just, I really love it. And the way that Kwame Alexander describes the emotions you feel when you're grieving is just amazing um, and I love it so so much so I highly recommend this and the crossover um, but if you want to read 
one of the three, I would definitely recommend Read Out. And then yesterday I started Booked. I started this around noon yesterday and I finished it at like 11 something last night. Um, I gave this four stars. I really do like this book a lot, uh, but it just doesn't have kind of the emotional impact that the crossover and rebound do for me just because I don't have like a similar experience to the main character of this book so it just doesn't hit as hard but it's still really enjoyable and I do love the formatting of this book. Um, the use of blackout poetry in this book is so cool um, and I really do like how Kwame Alexander uses poetry but then uses different formatting of poetry. And I didn't get around to watching the crossover series yet, I'm planning on doing that while I eat dinner in a little bit, um, so I'll probably come back with an update on the first episode um, after I eat dinner and watch it because I have some homework tonight so I know I'm not going to get through the rest of the episodes tonight, um, but I am hoping to start with the first one, so I will see you for that update. <laughs> So I just finished episode one of the crossover on Disney Plus and it needs to win an Emmy for editing like right now. Um, as far as adaptations go, I don't know if it's going to be the most faithful, however the heart of the book is there and like the spirit of the book is there in like the way that it's edited and the way that like the voiceover happens. So I do think it's going to be a really good adaptation. I do think some things are going to be different, but it is kind of hard to take a 237 page book and make it into a series, even if the episodes are 30 minutes. So new characters, new stakes, but everything at its core is still, still the crossover. Um, and I know Kwame Alexander like wrote some of the episodes, so I have faith that like even if it diverges from the plot of the book, it's still going to be a somewhat faithful adaptation. I will say that there are certain characters in the book that you don't get to see a lot of because it's from one perspective. And obviously in the show you get all of their perspectives. And so I really like JB in the show. I do like him a lot more than I liked him in the book. Um, and there's like new characters so I'm excited to see like where those plot lines go for the show um but yeah I'm really excited to see where this goes I will maybe post on my I think I might post on my Instagram when I finish the series like a review of the series um so follow me there if you want to see my review of the series because I'll probably post there but yeah, I'm really glad that this week I kind of forced myself to reread these three books. Um, I really do love them and I really do recommend them even if you're not like a sports fan. I had a really fun time rereading these books this week so more vlogs will definitely be coming. Filming this was like really fun even though I didn't get to film as much as I would have liked just because I was busy <laughs> so much this week. Um, but I'm really glad I got to reread these books. I highly recommend them. And if you liked this video, feel free to leave a like or a comment or a subscribe if you feel compelled to. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!